So um, this is week four for the vlog project for our psych class. Um, this week we're supposed to talk about um, a class that had a big impact on us either positively or negatively. Um, it's been a long week. Um, lots happened I'm sure you've heard. So it's been harder to focus than usual, but um, yeah. Topic at hand. Um, the class I think that I took that most influenced me was uh, my first philosophy course that I took in high school. Um, it was really different from a lot of my courses because it was one where there wasn't necessarily one right answer that they were looking for and it was different because you couldn't get through the class by trying to figure out what the teacher wanted and just giving it to them. You had to think for yourself and really um, come up with something on your own and that was different. Um, and it was, at times I was really frustrated by it actually. Um, I was used to just being able to kind of skate through school really. I mean, I put effort in, but it was never hard for me. I mean, I was just academically um, inclined. And so a lot of the subjects I had taken were just natural. So it hadn't been difficult, but um, I learned a lot from it because I learned how to think differently and I learned how to be more open about hearing others' opinions and I learned how to stick up for my own better because a lot of the course was backing up your opinion and the teacher would play devil's advocate a lot and you would have to argue against them and your other classmates and I mean I've never really been great at talking in front of others and like standing up for myself or any of that um but I found that when it was a, a topic that I was really passionate about or that I felt strongly about that I was able to um stand behind it and talk loudly um, about it and I got involved in debate team actually from it because I discovered that I was good at arguing with people if I was not in like a confrontational setting. So yeah, I mean, um, I've taken a couple more courses like that in university here and it's they're, they've been fun. Um, it's been a lot of course work stuff recently so it's been like I said it's been um it's been a long week um you know it's been like a week since the prank happened and I know everyone else has already talked about it but I feel like I should too um I made a decision when I saw the halls full of ice to do something unlike how I would usually react. I mean, normally I would panic or try to find someone to tell about it or fix it, but I mean, I knew that people would either be minutes away from informing some faculty member or that someone had probably already been informed. I mean, the entire student center was covered in ice. It was like a rink. And I don't know, I, I felt like having some adventure or something fun and so my, well it wasn't my first thought, I mean my first thought was oh my gosh what's going on, you know exactly what's going on, you know exactly who did this, I can't believe they did this again, this isn't going to end well, it might be kind of fun. And so... I went and I got Frank and we, we skated for a bit and we, it was really, it really was a lot of fun, but it wasn't a good idea to do. I mean, me and Frank skating wasn't safe, but the prank itself wasn't safe. And at this point, everyone knows who did it and Jamie is serious. I mean, I know you guys like doing pranks and... I'll admit, I 
had fun with it and I feel really guilty about it actually because I shouldn't have and people people got hurt. So I know that you guys feel really bad that people got hurt um, and that's a good thing. I'm really glad that you guys feel that way um, but in reality you guys being sorry doesn't change anything and it doesn't help anything if you don't use it to change your future behavior. Um, if you guys don't learn something from this, then it doesn't really matter if you're sorry or not, you know? And I mean, I'm not trying to invalidate your apologies. I think they're very genuine and that you guys truly are sorry. I know you are. But I'm just saying, try to take this and use it as a lesson of what not to do in the future. I mean, I'm not saying not to pull pranks because I know you guys will. And I know that no harm was intended and that it was just supposed to be fun. And then I'm being a total hypocrite right now because I did have fun with it. Um, but I'm going to learn from my mistakes and next time I won't behave in that manner. I will find a safer way to have fun. And I just, I really hope that you guys do too because I know that you don't want anyone getting hurt and I don't want anyone getting hurt and I don't want you guys to get hurt because you did something stupid or to get in trouble because of it. I'm just... Please, please think things through really carefully from now on, okay? Um, and Remus, Rem, oh my god. It's not your fault. It, it isn't. Um, I know we could say it a million times and you still won't believe us. And I'm sorry. I wish I could make you believe us because it's true. Um, was it the best decision on your part? No. But you couldn't have stopped them if you tried. And they don't want you to feel guilty. We don't want you to feel guilty. So... Just don't be too hard on yourself, okay? I mean, everyone makes mistakes and everyone screws up and you, there was no malice intended. You were just trying to make them happy and to be a good friend and maybe, maybe next time don't do it, but cut yourself some slack and stop beating yourself up for it, okay? Because it's really not your fault. You can't control everything. And lastly, Severus and Regulus, I am so sorry that you two got hurt. I hope you're both healing well. And if there's anything that I can do to help you guys with absolutely anything, carrying books, um, getting you notes, whatever, just let me know, okay? Sorry, Professor, I promise next week I'll stick more to the subject, I hope, and hopefully next week will be a little bit calmer.